Hey guys, welcome to part four of the tennis elbow series. So if you watch part one, two, and three, and you're still getting some sort of pain in the elbow, it might not actually be tennis elbow. So if we look at the structure of the elbow, you've got the head of the humerus, which is the arm bone. You've got the radial head right here, and then you've got the ulnar bone right there. So how the bones work in your forearm is every time you cross your arm over like that, these two bones on the bottom would cross. Okay, and what that does is it can stretch the ligament on the top here, which holds the radial head in place. Very common with office workers. So if you're in this pronated position for a long period of time, you're gonna be stretching this ligament up here and that can lead to pain. There's a quick way to fix this radial head instability. First way to fix radial head instability is to train the supinators of your arm. So supination is when you do this movement. So if you've got a bit of resistance, like a resistance band or with a dumbbell, all you do is open up and close, open up and close. And you wanna do about 20 repetitions of this. This will train a deep muscle in here that will keep the bones fixed together. Second way to fix radial head instability is with a bit of sports tape. So you just get a bit of rigid tape like I've got here. And all you're gonna do is place it on the head of the radius, which is where that painful spot is. And you just wanna add a bit of compression. So you're gonna give it a little bit of a pull, wrap it all the way around and on top of itself. I do like to leave a little bit of a tab so you can adjust how tight it is. If it's something really painful that you're doing, just give it a nice big tug and it'll apply a lot of compression. But if you're just resting and you don't wanna cut off circulation to your arm, just a little bit of a pull that will compress that radial head and keep the bones together. 